Just She's managed to handle all of the criticism and the scrutiny really well. She's really... Tons of wind helping, and that's a little, just a little left of the ideal target. And not the best hop. Oh, my goodness, that wasn't even a hop. That was a ricochet. Not the best pitch shot to hear, but this can make up for it. Okay, there you go, Lydia. Got that very nicely. That is such a hard shot for it, amateurs to hit. I think it's amazing, and I think the difficulty here is you're used to hitting a driver up on a tee, so you're hitting up at the ball. When the ball's sitting on the ground, all of a sudden now you're changing your angle of attack into it. That in the hole, about 12 feet. Brings it in nice and low, gonna fly it past the hole. Needs to spin. With a 25 mile per hour crosswind to get anything on the green is exceptional. That was a six iron. Yeah, there's only been four birdies and most of those were earlier today and that's gotta get down or that's gonna go down into the ville you talked about. You know, that's I, just I being in the rough makes a huge advantage. Oh, that's wow. really good. That's impressive. 32 bogeys, four doubles, only four birdies. Here. Adjustments in your stance. Just have to focus on keeping it. What a beautiful stroke. I think that's one of the things that's so difficult. Trying to get it to one skip and then stop. This is right. Yeah, that'll sneak this systems this weekend. So Lydia Kill started her day in round three at number 10. Here's her second at 18. We'll get a good oh. look at this finishing oh, hole, too. It's a location on that front portion of the green. 378 yards today. OK, nice. Got an uphill putt. Three just to get the five under. A good way to finish the day. Oh, there you go, Lydia. Good stroke. Good rhythm to that stroke. Oh, that one holds. Okay. Today, and mm -hmm. saw the 18th green, saw that whole location. I couldn't believe it, so I went all the way to the bank to pace it off. I mean, it is tight back there. 